A true meaningful drop in basal body temperature happens when progesterone falls. And progesterone only falls for real when the body has decided not to sustain the luteal phase. And that drop in progesterone is what triggers your bleeding normally. And that is why the most consistent temperature drop lines up with cycle day one. That is the first day of your period. Before that, dips can happen and they do happen. And it depends how massive they are, how long they are sustained, what it then actually means. Now you have mid-luteal estrogen rises, normal fluctuations in progesterone. You might have slept bad, you have stress, you have cortisol levels that are too high. And even a slightly different wake-up time can all cause a one-day or short-term dip in temperature, while progesterone is still very much present and holding up. Now, a single dip does not mean implantation has failed and it does not mean your period is about to arrive. And your body obviously doesn't work by calendar days. It works by hormones and until bleeding starts, the luteal phase is still active. Doesn't mean it has to be intact, but it's active. So if you're staring at one temperature point and letting it decide your hope or your heart break, then take a deep breath with me. Because one temperature dip means nothing. Look at the trend and not just one single dot. And remember that the only temperature drop that actually closes a cycle is the one that comes with your period. Now, if you have a temperature drop on cycle day 23, for example, and it doesn't rebound over the next one or two days, that usually means that progesterone is withdrawing. The corpus luteum has stopped producing enough progesterone to keep those temperatures actually elevated. And then the luteal phase is ending earlier than expected. When that happens, bleeding usually follows within a few days. Um, now, the pattern points to then a short luteal phase maybe or inadequate progesterone support, which can make implantation unfortunately difficult because your uterine lining doesn't stay stable long enough. In real life, this often shows up in women who spot before their period and have cycles shorter than about 25 days. You might have high stress, you're underfueled, overexercise, maybe you have thyroid issues or insulin issues, blood sugar dysregulation, etc. Now, in this case, a temperature drop isn't the problem. It's, it's your signal. It's showing you that progesterone isn't being sustained and that's where the real work needs to happen. We got to figure out why it happens. And the key is the difference in duration. One dip one dip means nothing. 